landlords are not very nice. And once you understand that, they get a lot easier to deal with. You know, something seems to come across people who own property and then decide to rent it out. I know of some people who may not be landlords, but they instinctively have the temperament for it. Whereas most of us landlords struggle to be nasty, however, we all normally manage it in the end. The main tool of the landlord is the lease. Now when landlords are selecting a form of lease, they will generally opt for the Terminator version rather than the Winnie the Pooh model. Leases are minefields for the unwary. They contain delayed action mines that can go off months or years later, usually when your business is facing its darkest hour. With most new businesses failing within the first two years, you can probably understand why landlords are a little paranoid. Over and above trying to find out where to sign, which is made much easier by helpful red stickers saying sign here, often the 25 or 35 page commercial lease remains unthumbed by the tenant. Well, here are three things that can go wrong. One, the lease doesn't contain an assignment clause. That means that if your business is in trouble, you can't offload it without the landlord saying that you can. Number two, you assign the lease to another, but you may remain liable for non-payment of the rent for that entity and any entity that they assign it for. So at least you can limit your liability by making, getting options to renew. Don't agree to long leases get a lease with several options to renew. Number three, if you get a bargain rent, then a market review one year or two years later can make that rent go way up. Now I can't deter the red blooded prospective tenants from the just do it approach. It certainly worked for Nike. But leases are what lawyers do best. Some lawyers even enjoy reading leases. Sad, but useful if you're a tenant who does not wish to lose his shirt.